High school graduates are trading the caps and the gowns for fatigues and combat boots at some of the country's most elite schools. Good Tuesday evening. I'm Tyler Lopez. And I'm Amber Kriska. Thank you for joining us. In tonight's top story, Lizzie Stiles sat down with three students to see how they went from high school juniors to members of the incoming freshman class at two different service academies. Lizzie. Tyler and Amber, these Dunlap graduates are headed to the United States Air Force Academy and another is going to West Point. Those two schools accept about one in every 10 applicants. That's as selective as a prestigious medical school like John Hopkins University. The application process is no joke either. Students have to meet academic and physical criteria, plus get a nomination from their congressman, leading to moments like this. I picked up the phone. And he said, hey, it's Congressman Darren LaHood. And it was like, I have Congressman Darren LaHood's number. Congressman Darren LaHood has my number. Whoa, this is crazy. For Dunlap High grad Sunit Shivraj, that call was like opening an acceptance letter. He'd received a letter of assurance from the Air Force Academy in Colorado, saying so long as he got his congressman's nomination and passed the physical, he was in. It was a similar case for Leah Megrian. Her family has a military background. Her uncle is a pilot. That family support got her and two other Dunlap students through the rigorous application process, requiring essays, medical exams, interviews, and pristine academic performance. My mom was like very encouraging and helpful throughout it. And I would do practice interviews. My dad is um, a businessman, so he would like also listen to my interviews, which I think was actually more nerve-wracking than the actual interview because <laughs> I care more what my parents think. Fellow student Elena Keister is headed to the other side of the country. She'll be attending West Point in New York. She was drawn in during a summer camp at the academy. Everybody is so dedicated and working hard. Everything is very controlled and like orderly and it's also it's very efficient. She and Meg Rian will be in a minority on campus. Both academies have three men for every female student, but they aren't worried. Academically, it, we are very equal and physically I'm in great shape and I can push myself further to stay up to standards. I think it's a good challenge because it'll make me better with, with more competition. All three are staying fit and keeping up with preparations ahead of training this summer, resting on their laurels before starting intense academic and physical training. The academy is, it seems like a reach, but if you're dedicated enough, you can get there. Each student will attend four years of school, then serve in the military for a minimum of five years for the Air Force Academy graduates and eight years for West Point graduates. After that, it's up to them if they want to stay in the service or go elsewhere.